What's up everybody, this is Bo. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make this external shower. If you are using the uh, vent-free uh, hot water propane like me, where you want to install in the back like this. And particularly, I'm going to focus on how I make the uh, water mixer with the disconnect. Everything else should be okay, just uh, uh, installing the component onto the board. Let's go ahead and uh, show you how I make the whole thing anyway. Well, of course, to start with, you have to measure and cut your board to uh, whatever the size you want. And then I mark where I want my, my water heater is and then the uh, mixer. And there's gonna be a fresh water inlet and also a tank gauge. So I already marked where I want and it's gonna be my fresh water inlet. I forgot to order the tank gauge so I'm just gonna make the hole for it for now. And then this is my, my quick connect. After this, I'm going to list all the components that I use in the description below. Um, so this is where I start with, with my water mixer. This this thing comes without hole. This is uh, five inches by seven. And this is where I'm going to put my, um, my uh, quick connect on the bottom and then my the water mixer this is hot and cold water mixer super beautiful high chrome and easy to use hot and cold mix and it comes with already half inch female thread right here it's easy to connect that's where this is going to go well from the back anyways um um, yeah, I drill, I drill out these holes and then I spray paint it um, uh, for rust protection. First, I'm going to drill the hole for my fresh water inlet, and this is my fresh water inlet. So keep in mind, my water tank is 18 inches high. So from the floor to the water inlet, I want to make sure the fresh water inlet is a little bit higher than the tank so that the water flows into the, uh, to the tank uh, instead of coming back down when you disconnect. And also this thing has a, a, uh, a check valve, but still even though you, still, you have a check valve, you still have some water dripping. You can't help that, but I'm going to show you uh, what I did or what I, I connect to so that it doesn't have that water dripping into your, your van so and then I have I leave enough space for my uh, tank gauge right here now let's make a cut for the mixer Alright, after a couple of tries, I got it to fit. Okay, because this thing, you have to, uh, you know, make sure you over, don't overcut the side because the screw holes are really close to the edge here. So it has to be perfect fit. Um, the best way is to make a template out of paper first and then draw your pattern. I didn't do that because I feel too confident. Mm -hmm. Why well, I have this already cut and I'm going to paint it, might as well cut the other pieces that I already have the size for and paint all at once.
Oh crap, I forgot to make the slot to route my host. I have to cut right here to route, to, uh, route my host from the inside through here into here. I forgot about it. Right, on this you can use the black screws to match the thing but I'm using a, a half inch this is half inch stainless steel whatever you prefer okay now we can touch quick connect okay this is cold quick connect oh let me go get the uh, the other part for it uh, half inch barb and this is the uh, quick connect disconnect that is a quick connect and and this is how it works all right so this thing fits the half inch of uh, water hose to the shower head and yeah on this side it's a female thread and then you can just push to connect and to disconnect very easy press this one comes right off a rubber washer right here use that so you don't have water leak the back and then just screw back tighten it that's it connect quick connect let's do it with the water hose so here I have the water hose this is also half inch water hose with one side to the shower head and it connects with that one it has a washer here rubber washer so there's no leak you don't need to put any uh, Teflon tape in that one okay that see ready to go Okay, on this next hole, I'm using this is um, Ambassador Marine. This is the uh, shut off valve hot and cold mini shower mixer. This thing is really cute, low profile, high chrome finish. So it comes, you have a cold water with the blue stripe right here, and the hot water, and then your mixer. This is your output water right here. So, first, it comes with three different uh, rings right here okay I have the nuts and the metal ring and also the plastic the rubber washer now instructions say to put this on uh, on the back behind because this thing already has an o-ring to it but that's for if you have a, a, a different um, uh, set up or different application I'm going to put the rubber ring first here to protect more you know water seeping through here because when I fill up this water it's, sometimes it drips down here so insert this one at a time otherwise it won't fit there like so okay I got my rubber washer and then on the back side I'm going to uh, feed through this one first and then my uh, the nut on the back
that's good. You don't want to tight, too tight, anyways. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Now it's the water tank. Okay, you got one screw here and two screws underneath to hold it from moving around or coming off. So, and on the bottom, you can just use two half inch screws to hold it down. While I'm working, my wife handed me dessert. This is a Cambodian dessert, my dessert. It's a um, uh, flat. Yeah, they call it they call it banjanut, but it is a sticky rice flour that inside it has the uh, monk beans and in coconut and brown sugar syrup and uh, sesame seed mm. it also has um, ginger mm, I love this thing mm -hmm. alright guys look how beautiful it comes out and everything else is up to you how you connect the back how where you connect your water pipe and stuff but this is how it, uh, I, I build it and this is what it takes to bit to uh, to do this mixer part it's really cute very high uh, finished chrome durable and there's one more thing that I, I mentioned that um, I don't like when you fill up the water and the water drips over here and stuff so uh, I'm using this uh, three feet flexible pipe it happened to be a beautiful bright green color if you can find anything shorter it's, it's fine it's good but uh, this thing is very flexible and it fits uh, into your garden hose and this is designed for drinking water for RV refill and stuff like that and you can connect this side which fit perfect to here and then you have this side where you connect to your RV refill and you or you put your um, uh, filter the water filter through here and still connect and you can fill up your tank here but when you disconnect if you disconnect it over here which let it drip on the outside here and then you can just leave it you can just leave, leave it if you want to or um, you know you can disconnect that after it's all, it's all dripped out and I found it very convenient so if you can find anything anything uh, um, shorter than that it's good but it's three feet it's not you know in in the way or anything like that and I can just leave it like that and good all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope I inspired you to build this beautiful uh, external shower right here and uh, uh, good luck on your build thank you so much please don't forget subscribe and like to my channel to my videos thank you so much I will see you soon